Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be out in the carving tent and we're going to be carving a bear. I know we've carved bears before. We might start carving a lot more of them, but this one's going to be a little different. We are going to be using this electric powered Portland chainsaw. This came from Harbor Freight. I did a video on it a little while back and I told you we'd be uh, potentially carving with it. Well, that's what I'm going to do today. Be sure to stick around. <laughs> This is the Portland 14 inch electric chainsaws from Harbor Freight. You know, I reviewed it a little while back. The uh, link's coming up right here. It'll also be at the end of the video. I'm going to attempt to carve a bear. I've got a decent sized log here. And I think what I'm going to do is just a bear sitting in a stump. A good size one, though, so that I've got room with this bar to get in there and do a little bit of detail. But the plan is to. Just do what I can with only this saw. No detail saw, no dime bars, no none of that. And just see what we can do. The idea is if somebody wants to attempt to chainsaw carve and this is what they have or want to purchase because a regular chainsaw is too expensive, they might be able to do that. Now, warning, for real, warning. If you're going to attempt chainsaw carving, you seriously need to have all the right gear before you do so. Steel toe boots, chaps, gloves, as much protective gear as you can that is the correct gear for chainsaw car. Now, it's not for everybody, so not everybody should just go out there and try to do this. And honestly, this is not the ideal saw to do it with. One reason being there is no chain break. Regular chainsaw is a chain break. This does not. And so this is going to be the official video if this thing's junk and I should just scrap it or not, I guess. So I'm going to give it a go though for you guys and you will be able to, well, make the assessment yourself. So enough talking. I'm going to get my gloves on and uh, we're going to start hacking this thing up. guys this is gonna be a short video don't buy this thing for chainsaw carving it sucks I mean this thing sucks 50 gauge chain 9 amp motor 
chain's way, way too big. There's not enough power, not enough RPMs to actually spin this as fast as I need it to spin to carve. <sighs> Don't buy it. If you need it to clean up limbs on your around your yard, though, and your property, close to the house, extension cord, yeah, go for it. As an alternative or a beginner for carving, just save your pennies. That thing's trash. So, $50 chainsaw. Save up another 100 bucks. Wait for Steel to put their MS-170s on sale and go buy one. Save your money. Go buy one. I saved up to go get mine. It's just the way it is. Sometimes cheaper tools work and they'll get the job done. In this case, that cheap tool is going to get you hurt if you're trying to carve with it. So just don't even do it. Don't even bother carving with that thing. I'm not even going to put a link at the bottom of this video for that thing because honestly I don't want any of you trying to carve with that because it is a scary piece of junk. For real. Not even kidding. This bear though, well, he needs to get done. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple of my gas saws. We're going to finish him up so don't go anywhere. Boy, let's make some sawdust. Right, guys well I just ran out of gas I know it doesn't look it in the video but it's getting dark out I've been out here carving all day so I didn't fill my saw because I kind of planned on the battery battery <laughs> electric saw to uh, finish the job and obviously it's not going to well you guys can see though you guys have seen me carve before right this guy's gonna go unfinished in this video still gotta round up this head the nose put some eyes in there or at least you know shape of the eyes and stuff it's also starting to rain i gotta get my stuff under the tent here and put away sometimes that's just the way it goes i want to thank you guys for watching though please don't buy that chainsaw to carve with you will get hurt and probably lose your arm and one leg so i mean if you want to try to walk with one hand and one foot and yeah just don't don't bother it's a waste of money save up another hundred bucks go get a steal when they get on sale and you'll be good to go yeah, kind of a bummer. I hate wasting money. I just got it, so I might actually see if I can just take the thing back and get my money back. Yep. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe. Oh, yeah, and I will have links to some actual tools that I use 
below. So check out those links, and I'll see you guys next time.